Hi everyone! So, for my first video, I'm going to be talking about uh, my history or my story with eczema as well as the products that I use in order to treat it. So basically, a little bit of a backstory is that since I was about, I'd say 10 years old, I have suffered from eczema or eczema, whichever way you want to pronounce it. It's basically a skin disorder where our skin lacks that protective barrier to keep out a lot of like the different allergens and things that can trigger it and make it really like inflamed. So we kind of lack the ability to build that protective layer. We don't either we don't have it or it's very weak and it doesn't stay strong typically. So we are susceptible so that we are basically prone to a lot of things that can come in and also it can cause a lot of infection as a result. So if we have any cuts or anything like that, um, e it can easily become inflamed, irritated, things like that. So when I was first told that I had this, of course doctors will prescribe topical steroids to treat it. Unfortunately for topical steroids, while they do reduce inflammation, they don't exactly... they're not meant to be used long term. It's only meant to be short term because they tend to thin out the skin significantly and also change the texture of it. So it's not good to use long term. Unfortunately for me, I did use it long term and it actually probably made it worse if anything. It was because I couldn't... I hadn't quite found anything that was quite good for it. And it wouldn't... nothing I used would really work. So I kept kind of going back to the steroids, but it didn't... It's not good for your skin. I would not recommend using it long term. Short term it's okay, just use it in small amounts. Anyways, so there are two products I ended up finding that really ended up saving my skin. They have been so helpful. Um, so these two products that I have here, one is Gold Bond, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about. This stuff is amazing. It is an ex specifically an eczema relief cream that I use all over. You can use anywhere. It's really good. I found that the kind of behavior, or not really behavior, but the what tr I found that what triggers my eczema is really different, and it has changed since I grew up. So as I was younger, it was a lot more harder to manage because for me, I didn't really have the mentality or really the motivation to take care of it. I just didn't want to accept it. I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that it was there and that people would just, they'd stare at me weird. They wonder what was wrong with your skin. They'd ask me questions. I just, I was going through that total, you know, angsty kid stage where it's like, you don't want to even be told that you have it. You don't want to accept it, all that. So I went through that. It was not fun, but I found that it actually changed a lot as I grew up. And as I grew up and became an adult now, uh, my sort of treatment changes and also where it tends to show up also changed a lot too. Like the areas it used to show up as like when I was a kid, actually it changed, it moved to different areas, or just stopped in one area and then went to another area, so it changed. I don't know if it was because of me just growing up, hormone change, or diet, or environment, it could be a lot of the reasons. So I found that these two products really helped. So the other product that I use is Air Organics Cream, Relief Cream. So one is basically, it's a very lightweight, lightweight, cream that smells really weird but it has a lot of nice organic ingredients which is what I like because I like using more natural ingredients to cure whether it's a cold or if it's something your skin anything like that anything natural is always great I really like it so this has things like aloe vera, manuka honey which are all really good for your skin it, it keeps it moisturized and it keeps it cool down. As weird as that sounds, like when you put it on, like it feels really cold, so it feels good. Um, so it relieves the itching, definitely. I wouldn't say I could use this on its own because I think it's because I've been relying so much on steroid, uh, the topical steroids so much that I couldn't quite quit that and use this solely to 
cure it. So I had to kind of use a combination of both. I reduced use of the topical steroid and then started using this more. Um, so it did definitely help. Keeps it moisturized. And you don't get that really gross, like, sticky residue feeling sometimes that some lotions and creams give you. It's very light, so it'll absorb right into your skin. It's a good product to use, so I would definitely recommend this. Although, disclaimer, a lot of people have different types of skin. So it may work for you completely alone, or it might not work at all, but I would just say just try it. It never hurts to try it. Then you'll just see if it actually works or not. But I would say definitely try this. It is cheaper. It's it's a really... It's not that expensive, actually. I think it was only around maybe... Hmm, I want to say 10 bucks. Yeah, for a tube like this, 10 bucks. Not that bad. I got it from Target, so it's it's really good. I use it to moisturize everywhere, and it keeps your skin moisturized for a really long period of time. And also, what, what I like about it is that it has oatmeal in it. And oatmeal is also another product, or another natural ingredient that is supposed to stop itching, especially, because... Yes, yeah, so our skin gets significantly dry, and then it gets itchy, and then it just inflames, and it goes insane. So, yes, this has... 2% colloidal oatmeal and it relieves 5 symptoms of eczema. So it's dermatologist um, recommended, tested, it's steroid free, fragrance free, which is what I really like about it. So it doesn't have a scent. It's good because a lot. I found that a lot of the products that um, are scented and floral have floral scents I can't use because it'll just irritate my skin further. So I found that a lot of the things, unfortunately, I received a lot of gifts from Bath & Body Works that I unfortunately can't use because it irritates the skin by a lot. So, but this is a really good alternative. It's just really light, lightweight. It's kind of like if you were to use a vino, it's kind of like that, except this I feel is more effective. I used to use a vino before, but it didn't quite have the same um, relief that I got from this, so this is a really good product. So I would highly recommend this. And I would also recommend people to try this. So if you don't know if it's gonna work or not, I'd recommend just trying it. It was around, I would say, to a little over $20 on Amazon. I can actually put the link down below for you to check out. But it was definitely one of the products that was good to use. I'd say it's a good moisturizer. Although I can't, for me personally, I can't rely on it solely, so yes. These are the two products I really enjoy using for my eczema at the moment. If anyone has any other suggestions as to what products I can use in order to treat it, feel free to comment down below. I'm always willing to try things because I still haven't quite found full relief for it yet. It still gets inflamed every once in a while. And even more so now because of how the weather in my area has been like. It's been getting really warm lately, which doesn't help. Any kind of extreme weather just makes it worse. So it's kind of crazy. I'm just trying my best to keep my skin moisturized, to keep it um, basically just under control until I can find something. Because as of right now, I don't believe that there is any cure for it. So, but there is, I think they're getting closer to finding more long-term treatment for it, so that way you won't, you, you'll find longer-term relief as opposed to just temporary. So, if anyone has any suggestions, feel free to let me know and I will be, I'll, I'll check it out. Yes, okay, that's it. I'll see you guys soon.